Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust to talk about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, next generations, and everything in between. And you might be asking yourself, hey, where's the fishing village? I thought this bad boy came out. I'm on main branch. I don't see it anywhere. And there was also a rewipe. What's up with that? So this is going to be a week in review, as there were some hiccups and some bugs uh, here and there. And we're excited for the updates that are coming through, the update that did just come out. So we want to make sure that everybody's up to speed here. So, all right, first and foremost, if you're like, hey, where's that fishing village? I thought that came out. This is false advertising. What's going on? So Deadly Catch did come out May 26th, 2022. It is on main branch. Now, there was a hiccup. There was a rewipe two hours after the first initial wipe, and it was because there was not enough of the fishing villages showing up on the seeds. Also, uh, you might be back in there going, okay, so I lost two hours, and I go back and there's still no fishing village. What's up with that? Well, it turns out some of the maps are too small currently, so it looks like most of the time, if not all the time, you can find the fishing village over on the 3K maps. Now, we have a couple different options here. If you're like, hey, uh, that's not cool with me, uh, the PTB is still running the fishing village over there, and maybe that's a better option. Just remember, things do wipe there on a more infrequent basis, or more frequently, excuse me, So and they could do it at any time. So if you had kind of a better setup there, you could go over to the PTB and play the fishing village. Also, if you're on a map where it does not have a fishing village, you can still make money fishing by gutting the fish and then cashing things out at the bandit camp. Okay, so some of the other things we ran into here, um, there's been some glitches and some hiccups. So I wanted to make sure we go over those things. Okay, sp uh, before we do that, uh, speaking of the rewipe, there was uh, reports of the power plant showing up again on some of the seeds before there was a rewipe, and also the junkyard. So that's interesting. Okay, on to some of the gotchas here. Hang on a sec. Okay, so one of them is, and I know this one hurts, uh, let me make sure this is up here. Okay, so the jackhammers, when you have them here, you should be able to refill them on the workbench. Well, guess what? There's a glitch, and you can't. So you're like, hey, that doesn't do me any good. Well, there is a workaround, but it's not super great. You can go to the repair bench, place the jackhammer on there, and then repair it for materials. I know that's not as good as the refill, but it's better than nothing. You might be asking yourself, hey, does the scuba gear work like that? I guess you could, but it is refilling as it's supposed to. Uh, so you can refill the air tanks and whatnot. Also, uh, there's no under slot here for level 3 or level 2, as there should be. So that's also a glitch, just so you know. And speaking of, this was another one that was a thing in the past, but it's, it's come back again. The split stack glitch, or um, when you're trying to split, it cancels out. That is back. Uh, if you're around status effects, like cold or heat furnaces, lots of fires, uh, it's going to cancel it. If you're crafting a lot of things, that will also cancel the split. So if you're Dance Dance Furnace Master, just know uh, that's going to definitely hinder your progress. Okay, so speaking of skins and skin store, uh, the Tommy skin, the year one skin, is still not out yet. Now, we're assuming it's going to be happening this week-ish. Um, but it will appear, and then you can claim it for free, and it's it's really sharp. I like it, and the Timmy is my favorite weapon. So uh, speaking of skins, the skin store got a face lift, and most likely this skin is going to appear in the special item slot down here. So back to the skin store, uh, we got a revamp for the sets, and then it looks like we have the addition of special items. If you didn't notice, and it took me a hot second, I had to scroll over to the right, and then I was like, oh, there's like an MP5, there's like a wine skin, there's like a... All kinds of cool stuff there. So I would assume this is going to appear there at some point. We will let you know when that does occur. But what's cool is the main skins here rotate every two weeks, and so do the special items. So if they alternate those and they have, that means we get new skins every week. So that's pretty exciting. You can also see some of the changes here at the top. Again, when this does appear, I don't know if I said this, this will appear over here most likely, and it'll be for zero RC. And you just claim it whenever it's available, and you should have it forever. Okay, so it's really exciting that all this stuff is coming in. I hope we get a hot fix here. But more importantly, we're going to be looking at an ocean-bound update soon enough. Is it going to be cargo ship? Is it going to be underwater labs? But either way, the ocean's getting a lot of love these days. And if you're like, Jade, I need a way to tap into that stuff right now with the fishing village. Well, I got you. It's our boat base called the Jib. 
This boat base is awesome. Even if you have a base in mind and you're building it, this supports that base. It puts you on the shoreline and getting that juicy, juicy, safe scrap. Whether you're fishing, whether you're hitting the junk piles, scuba diving, hitting the oil rig, the cargo ship, or even underwater sea labs, the jib is the answer for you. So go check it out. I'll throw it up on the end screen. Doodle -doodle.